Building a sustainable supply chain management system continues to be a priority for many global businesses. Most companies recognize that managing and improving environmental, social, and economic performance throughout their supply chains can help conserve resources, optimize processes, uncover product innovations, reduce costs, increase productivity, promote corporate values, and respond to the growing chorus of stakeholders who are demanding cleaner and more responsible supply chains. While companies continue to extend and to expand their sustainability programs to include their supply chains, they sometimes struggle with actual implementation. In this video, I share with you some of the practical steps of how to get started and how to maintain a sustainable supply chain management system for your organization. It's becoming increasingly apparent that supply chains play a key role in our path towards creating more responsible and sustainable businesses. But how do we actually achieve this in practice and create an effective responsible supply chain management system? To assist us with this, I've created this map to help illustrate some of the steps which you might consider on your journey towards a goal of creating an effective responsible supply chain management system. And I should note right at the very beginning that while many of these activities are set out in a sequential or stepped approach, they're not always applied in a linear fashion. Nonetheless, probably the first thing you'll want to do is to set out your overall objectives for your program and lay out how you'll want to manage your supply chain system. Really here you're just looking to establish the overall vision and expectations of your supply chain management program and to begin assigning responsibilities for its operations to different people within the organization. Some of the specific things you'll want to look at at this step uh, are things like uh, determining the scope of the program, uh, developing policies, or even benchmarking yourself against your other peer companies in your similar sectors. In the second step, the focus is on communicating expectations to suppliers and setting out their obligations. This is where you might adopt your, or develop your own code of conduct, uh, aligning it to international standards and regulations. And consider cascading these requirements not only to your suppliers, but to your supplier suppliers, and engaging your suppliers in a meaningful discussion about supply chain sustainability and its importance to your business and to theirs. In this next step, the aim is to better understand your supply chain footprint and to start identifying risks so that you can prioritize which suppliers to include in your program and which not, and set out their obligations. This usually involves developing a detailed supply chain risk map, which maps products and traces the flow of, of materials and information, and will also involve carrying out some due diligence and information gathering on human rights, uh, labor, environmental and corruption risks at every step of the production chain. Once this is completed, we can move to the next step. At this stage, we again engage with our key suppliers to ensure shared understanding of our objectives within the organization. We want to establish proper oversight controls and, if possible, begin to transfer ownership of these objectives to the suppliers themselves. Some of the activities in this stage would include the development of scorecards, uh, which would seek to integrate typical procurement considerations of price and quality with sustainability-related issues. We'd also want to ensure that sustainability obligations are written into the legal contracts at this stage and establish any incentives or penalties for suppliers for any breaches to the code of conduct or for their underperformance. Once we've set out the terms of engagement with the suppliers, it's often not enough to rely on these verbal or contractual commitments. We need to actively engage in due diligence activities to assess the environmental, social, and governance performance of our suppliers in order to ensure compliance with our company's expectations. This may involve self-assessments, on-site audits, supply chain management certifications, and a review of operational level grievance mechanisms. And if you're interested in learning more about grievance mechanisms, we deal specifically with this topic in a separate video. And you can access that video in the link above. In addition to conducting assessments of suppliers, it's important that we also monitor uh, ongoing performance and effectiveness of the sustainable supply chain management system as a whole. What changes as a result of the program? Is it achieving its objectives? 
We also want to ensure that we're monitoring their performance overall so that we can build ongoing capacity within the supply chain to address any emerging issues. And finally, our management system ends at a decision point on whether to end or renew the contract with the supplier. The aim of this stage in our supply chain management system is to ensure that ESG considerations are taken into account when evaluating whether to expand, reduce, or end the supplier relationship, allowing us to step back and assess the supplier relationship based on quality data and effective engagement with our suppliers on issues that are important to this company's sustainability performance. And well, that concludes our at-a-glance summary of what activities and elements organizations might consider when moving towards developing a more responsible and sustainable supply chain. It's not meant to be prescriptive, uh, as each organization will of course have its own context and priorities, but hopefully we've provided you with some insight into what a sustainable supply chain management system might look like and inspired you to either continue or start with your journey towards building a more responsible supply chain management system. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our video channel where you can get further tips on sustainability issues and topics.